I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, How to Paint Watercolours with me Colin. I've chosen a little boat scene, a harbour scene here. That used to be the old Thames barges. I've wet my paper, stretched it. I'm just removing the excess water from round the edges. This will minimise any run backs. This is just a piece of kitchen towel, making sure there's nothing on it. I'm using the Turner's Artist Quality Paints today. Fantastic value for money, fantastic paints. And I'll leave a link in the description box where you can check these out. They really are affordable. I'm going to dry off an area. Just around the boat, just to make it stand out. Some of the river. This is <clears throat> such an April Jello. Bottom part of the sky. And for a bit of sunshine, April Jello, Hansa Lemon. Sort of a, a weak wash of cobalt blue. I'm just going to drop this in areas. Very pale. Stronger mixture. Just in areas, not everywhere. I want some of the pale to show through, so let's not go overboard. Naples yellow once again. Naples yellow, Hansa lemon. This is just your first initial washes. And I'm just going to <clears throat> ensure that this area is nice and clean. So the bolt will stand out, the mast will stand out against the sky. Now I'm going to leave this till the shine disappears off the paper. Um, and then we'll come back and put the background trees in once the shine is gone. But the paper will still be damp. Okay, I think you can just make out there that the uh, the shine has disappeared off the paper as the water has um, sunk into the paper. And I'm just going to prop this up at a very slight angle because I don't want the flow uh, to head up the page too far. And this is a very weak mix of cobalt blue and Indian red. down to the uh, warehouse just removing any that runs a little too far and then into that another weak mixture French ultramarine and Indian red just to add a little bit of depth to them but not too much and a little bit more colour Just touching the underside of this tree. Then taking my rigger brush. To the French ultramarine and Indian red. And I just want to pull a couple of tree trunks and branches down while it's still wet. And then we're going to leave that to dry. And once it's dried, we can then clip the board down all the way around and this will hold your paper stretched tight. Okay, that's <clears throat> relatively dry. This is Naples yellow and Indian red. Just going to begin to put the tops of these bushes in. As you can see, I'm just spotting it in. This is just a highlight that's going in. This is pearl orange and Indian red. Just helps to separate them. A little in this one. This one's the same colour, but it's just a deeper yellow. In other words, there's more yellow added to it. Now 
Indian Red Leaf French Old Submarine. Just leaving the yellow to show through. Little bits on this side. Pencil to Marine and uh, Umber. Just adding one or two <coughs> twigs and sticks to build this up slowly. Yellow and raw Umber. I might put a bit of glue with that to the French Ultramarine, I think, just to bring it towards a green side, sort of an autumn green colour. Once again, and then a bit more French Ultramarine, Indian Yellow and Raw Umber. just have to leave that to dry for a moment but what I'm going to do before I <clears throat> do that is I'm just going to soften off any of the edges along the bottom we will be adding some darker colours to this but it's just a little too wet at the moment to dry now that your trees are, <clears throat> are drying up nicely I'm just going to run some cobalt blue thin wash along the roof French ultramarine and in red I'm just going to drop this in places and then a little stronger version waiting for that to dry we'll put some dark in under here with the same colour we've put in the roof just separating the bushes out Take a damp brush and just soften the edges in. It's a shadow. Taking a rigger brush. Just a little bit of French ultramarine and burnt umber. Just drop that in for a bit of variation so I've got the bottom once again That's just a bit of uh, Indian Red and Burnt Umber. Very pale wash of the Naples Yellow and the Indian Yellow. Just dropping it on this jetty. It'll be darker, it should be darker on this side. Lighter on this side. Some of the green, Indian yellow, Prince Ultramarine with just a touch of burnt umber in. And once again I'm going to darken that with a little more French Ultramarine. It's a little darker. More French Ultramarine. And that's I think. Darken it here on the bottom. French ultramarine and burnt umber just along the bottom. Just catching the edge and softening it in. Now you get the uh, the green slimy docks. Indian red and French ultramarine once again. A very light dust all the way across the top of the roof and maybe just a spot of 
dingy red and burnt umber. Just need to go back to my first washes, the Naples yellow. And I want to bring this under here, just around that bush. Naples yellow and hands lemon to water in that. Naples yellow. Leave this to dry for a moment. We'll see how steady my nerves are. With some burnt umber and French ultramarine to a really dark mixture. Put the mast in. Sneak a little bit of red in, I think, just for a bit of decoration on the back end of this boat before we uh, go too far or I forget. Red and black is always a good combination. Helps to pull the eye in. Just a bit of clean water. And the red and French ultramarine. It's a French ultramarine and burnt umber. Just for running it under the eaves. A little bit of Indian red and burnt umber. Put some bushes in here. French ultramarine and burnt umber on top of that. The mop brush. French ultramarine and burnt umber. Indian red and French ultramarine. And I just want to pop a little bit of the orange colour in, just to remind you that it's autumn. the bottom off. A bit more colour in there where that is. A little bit of clean water. Red and French ultramarine. I just want to put a little shadow under the eaves there. Soften that down with a damp brush. Then right at the top, French ultramarine and burnt umber. Naples yellow and Indian yellow for this. Indian red and burnt umber. Burnt umber and French ultramarine. Touch of red for the door. Take a little bit of paint out of the bottom just to fade it slightly. So clean water. Just re-wet the shoreline area a little bit. Indian red French ultramarine. Allow some of the yellow to show through. A bit more faded here at the back. The red and French ultramarine just for a bit of mud. Remember, this will soften and it will fade when it dries. French ultramarine and Indian red again, and I'm just going to put some folds and uh, shadow in. Softening one or two of the edges off. Softening the hard 
edges here. Just soft, soften it into the uh, dock area. I want to leave this to dry. I'm just going to take a little of the Indian Red and French Ultramarine. I'm just going to put some brickwork in. Very fine with a rigger brush. Not everywhere. A little shadow on the inside of the windows here. Shadow down the door frame. French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. I've just put the rigging in with a um, watercolour pencil and a ruler. So if you can see that, if you want to copy that, that's the rigging or how I've rigged it. It's, uh, might not be correct, but I think it's as close as I could see it. The bottom with a damp brush and bring it into the, the muddy sand. Need some stonework here as well on the on the dock side, or the key side. Some clean water. Rewet the whole of the uh, river area. Drop a little bit of Naples yellow in at the back. Naples yellow on Hans the lemon. Some of the cobalt blue. Doesn't matter if it turns green. Taking a little out there, that's all. Taking a little off there. All horizontal strokes. Just mimic the bushes here. Taking some of the very dark mixture. And I'm just going to mimic the bolt just a little bit. where the sails might be. Some of the bank reflection. Dropping a little bit of the green in. You can see the darker colour, French ultramarine. Indian red. I'm going to run a shaft of light down the middle. And then we're just going to leave this to dry. I'm just putting some wind streaks in now with a craft knife and a ruler, but uh, sometimes you'll find it easier to do it that way. I've just put a couple in there, so I'm just going to help to break this reflection up. Just a couple of things to do. I think we'll just put a couple of birds in here. And then we're going to put a couple of people on this dock. So remember the size of your barge, the size of the warehouse, little warehouse, and the size of the door. So his head will have to go there. The bottom third has nothing in it. The main piece is here, which is in the middle third. So if you put anything down in the bottom, you detract from that piece. If I started putting grass down here, or thing, it would just pull your eye away from the center. Not everything in the foreground needs to be done. Well, this is where you get to the best bit. This is where you design it, mount it and frame it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button and subscribe. Subscribers are always welcome. And like I always say, it doesn't cost you anything. And after the end of this video, I'll leave uh, a couple of suggestions on for other videos that are made for YouTube. And if you want to view the whole list, I'll leave a link in the description box. And if you click on that, it will take you straight to them. And also a link in the description box of where you can check out the Turner Artist Quality Paint at a very reasonable price. I'd like to thank you very much for watching.